Well, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and once again, it might sound repetitive to you, but it's a great day to be alive. Th that's just a reminder to let us know that, you know what, there is a reason for you to be breathing this, at, at this point. There's a reason for you to be able to see this video and to hear it and to feel it and to touch it and to, to, to hold it because it's near and dear to your heart in some way, shape, or form to give you the inspiration that you need to get through the day, to get through the week, to get through your life. And in essence, when we look at our culture and the, and the way how it's structured right now, our culture has done a great job of trying to condition us to believe that we can't be resilient, that we can't be overcomers, that we can't be people that can solve or make attempts to make our situation better by trying something new. What they've introduced is the idea that we have to be individuals that rely on a medical model, that rely on drugs and alcohol, that rely on counselors to solve the problem, that rely on um, therapists or doctors to solve the problem. And in essence today, not everyone, but some, when we go to those type of resources, tend to only give us what we need to maintain the problem. We're not actually solving the problem because we then create more problems within one problem. And hence, people want a Band-Aid solution to a problem today. They don't want that problem to be diagnosed in a way where they seek understanding of it to be understood and then develop strategies and plans against it to help you be better so when you have a time of failure disappointment sadness um you know rejection abandonment etc you can actually withstand it better than an individual who doesn't have the coping strategies and tools needed to get through life. And ultimately, it's all about making sure that we have tools in our toolbox that we can go to to help us cope with life. We all process life differently. We all go through things differently. We all experience things differently and we all have a different past. But those things are what create us to be unique. And just as those things are different for us, we also should have different tools and strategies that we can rely on to help us be better not contribute to us to be bitter or upset or have a, a piss poor attitude because realistically what ends up happening is when we have that piss poor attitude and bitterness we're saying to ourselves we're going to resort to the quick fix that doesn't really apply to us we're resorting to the drugs and alcohol we're resorting to um you know negative behaviors we resort to having negative people in our life that believe the same things that we believe in our time of pain and they just create a cycle for us to keep on going through. And we don't find ways how to stop that cycle because they condition you to believe it's okay to go through what you're going through and to cope with it in this way. And ultimately what we need to do is come to a rationale and understanding that we are all unique individuals with unique challenges that need a unique approach. And the only way to really start to understand how to take these approaches towards life is to understand who we are underneath the skin. To understand who we are within our heart, to understand who we are from our minds, to understand who we are from our experiences, from our upbringing, from our associates or people that we have in our life. We have to really assess those things thoroughly enough to make sure that we're on the right track of life and living life in a way that is not based on putting ourselves at a, in, a, in a dangerous position mentally, physically or emotionally, but to put us in a position to have opportunity to help us grow, to help us learn, to help us drive and thrive towards a life of meaning. So this morning, what I would like to do is have my audience understand that it is time for us to reassess who we are from within and reassess our principles and values, but also reassess the challenges that we have faced in our life and the challenges that we might be facing today. And how are we choosing to cope with those challenges? Are we being reactive? Or are we being responsive to those challenges that make us rational to a point that we can sit back and say, yes, this hurts, but I'm going to change it tomorrow. I might cry about it today, but I'm going to change it tomorrow. I might be upset today, but I'm going to change it tomorrow. Versus I'm going to be upset today, I'm going to be upset tomorrow, and I'm going to be a victim, and I'm going to make everybody else's life around me feel that same pain that I'm feeling because you know what? They don't deserve to be happy. I'm going to be selfish. So we have options here, folks, and the options that we choose will determine which way we go. 
So this morning, I hope that when you share this video with your network and the people within your life and those on your Facebook, LinkedIn, Google+, Twitter, that you let people understand that they have options. It is all about options and leveraging them to be better or bitter. Which one are you going to do? Have a great day.